Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So let us consider unordered sampling um, with replacement. So um, in uh, unordered sampling, uh, the order in which the objects are chosen from a given collection is not important, and moreover, the objects can be chosen again once they are already chosen. That is, repetition is allowed. So the number of ways, the number of ways of uh, choosing our objects from a collection of n things with replacement and without ordering without considering the order without ordering is given by this formula n plus r minus 1 taken over at a time right so this can be explained with the help of an example for example so let's consider this sample space of three letters a b and c so let us uh, consider the uh, number of ways in which we, we can choose three objects uh, all these three objects uh, using unordered sampling with replacement right so here uh, in this case n will be 3, r will be 3, so we are choosing all three objects, right, and uh, using unordered sampling and with replacement. So using this formula, the number of ways can be calculated to be number of ways in which it can be done is given by, uh, this is uh, 3 uh, plus 3, that is uh, 6 minus 1, 5, right, and r is 3 combination of five things taken three at a time so this is equal to five factorial three factorial i5 minus three factorial and that is five factorial divided by three factorial multiplied by two factorial and that is equal to five into four into three factorial divided by three factorial and two factorial so this cancels out and this two it gives us two here and that is equal to ten so the number of ways in, in which uh, we can choose uh, three objects uh, using unordered sampling with replacement from this set is 10. So let's try to list them down. So note that the samples are unordered and the repetition is allowed. This is with replacement. So for example, A can be chosen three times. A, A, A. Replacement is allowed. Then we can have A, A, B, right? Uh, but once we choose A, A, B, uh, then we cannot choose, for example, A, a B, A, because this is also two A's and a single B, and uh, as this is an unordered sampling, so this is the same uh, sample as this one, right? Similarly, we cannot choose B, A, A, B, A, A, this is also the same as this one. So these samples cannot, can, cannot be chosen now. So A, A, B, or in other words, these samples are the same as, as this sample, right? So A, A, B, for example, then A, A, C, right? Then A, B, B, then A, B, C, then A, C, C. Similarly, B, 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 then B, B, C, then B, C, C, for example, and then C, C, C. Uh, let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes. So these are the 10 possible samples that we can choose from this set using unordered sampling with replacement. And note that 
um, any of the sample for example this a b b this has one a and two b's so no other sample here of out of this 10 sample has one a and two b's only this sample has one a and two b right similarly uh, for example b c c one b and two c it only this sample has one b and two c uh, so these are distinct samples uh, fulfilling this requirement unordered sampling with replacement 